It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> This is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! The little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> Ah, oh, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, We're stuck! stuck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. Don't worry, Pepper. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. <laughs> We will rescue the grown-ups! That tickles! Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy! We might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. Police station. Pepper and her family are driving home. That was a great day out. Now all I want to do is get home, put my feet up and have a lovely cup of... <laughs> Dinosaur. George has lost Mr. Dinosaur again. Oh 
idea. George could have lost Mr Dinosaur anywhere. We've been to so many places today. We went to the shops, to the playground, to the park. <laughs> George cannot remember where he left Mr Dinosaur. Oh well, Mr Dinosaur is lost forever then. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Somebody will have found Mr Dinosaur. Yes, and when people find lost things, they take them to the police station. So that's where Mr Dinosaur will be. This is the police station. Here are Police Officer Squirrel and Police Officer Panda. They are doing important police work. Very good donuts, these. Yes, donuts really are the best. Mm. The police like donuts. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? Dinosaur. George has lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh. Actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Excellent description. Hmm. We do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow! What a lot of stuff! Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow! wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are. A box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm. I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh. Who put that lamppost there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a lamppost. Dangerous lamppost on public highway. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is your car, is it? Uh, yes. The very same car you used for your day out when the dinosaur was lost? Yes. Why? Bear with us, please, madam. Did you look for George's dinosaur in the car? Well, uh, no. We assume... Please step away from the car, madam. Nothing in here. Completely clean. Mind if we open the boot, madam? Uh, go ahead. Hello, hello, hello. Look what we found here. <laughs> oh, yes. Why didn't we think of looking in the boot? Thank you so much. Just doing our job, madam. <laughs> George loves Mr Dinosaur and Mr Dinosaur loves George. Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow! Here is Mr Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger Ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh! oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun! Yes, 
personne <rire> Excellent work, children Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, et voilà Hooray Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride This is the wall building ride <rire> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall Hurry up, Mummy OK, Peppa <rire> Pedal faster, Mummy oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa <rire> <rire> Nearly finished There A lovely wall <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> oh, -ho! building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Brr. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back. Forward, down, <laughs> hooray! We've got the dinosaur! Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, ho, ho. try again! Oh no! We got a Mr Potato doll! <laughs> the Mr Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh! But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified digger drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, Digger, <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your Digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive Diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. The doll hospital. Pepper, George, and Susie are playing in the garden with their favourite toys. George has Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Susie has Penguin <laughs> and Peppa has Teddy. Teddy, what game shall we play? Squeak, squeak. You want to roll down the hill? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dump in muddy puddles. <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK. Splash, splash, splash. Oops. Pepper has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes. Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh, I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend, Susie. 
I love you a lot. Susie. Ooh. Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? Ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Peppa. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsy diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> Super Potato Today, Mr Potato has come to Peppa's playgroup Children, Mr Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables oh. I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off! Help me, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Aha! Thank you, Super Potato! Remember, kids, always eat your five a day! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive! Always remember to eat your five! And now, we have a very special guest. Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy, then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming! Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! 
wonderful. Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything. What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty. Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes. He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave <laughs> Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah! I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck. Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! Potato. Super I think he might be Super too Potato. busy to come. No, really? Really, Super I do Potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle. You just need to shout out with us. OK. Help us, Super, Super Potato! Potato. There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. Hoo-ha! Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven! Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Hovercraft Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat Hello, Grandpa Pig Hello Hello, old bean Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean Yes, Pepper. it's another way of saying old friend are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. <laughs> Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it alarm at the sailing club? <laughs> Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit! Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! Ah! 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 Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? We don't need that bit. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's uh... all right, then. <laughs> ah, 
nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Oh, Lovely day for a sail. It's that monstrosity again. Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello. <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me, me. I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever. Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats can't sail. Help! 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 We need to rescue Help. them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in. Here we go! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boy. We're towing the boats to shore. We're towing the boats to the car park. Towing the boats to be parked. I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <coughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? About what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, old bean. You're very welcome, old bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Science. It is playtime at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Stop! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to our playground? We're digging it up! <laughs> Mr. Bull loves digging. <laughs> Hello! Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr. Bull. Ooh! It looks like Mr. Bull is doing all the work. Mr. Bull just builds the playground. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah. I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> She's very heavy. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! <laughs> Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. Oh. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. 
Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Easter Bunny. Pepper and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes. yes. Ready, steady, go. Wait. Stop. Stop. What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh. When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good. We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking. I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No, but the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. <laughs> I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> Yes, it's a super bunny. I think the Easter bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. 
Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes. I would say so. <laughs> right. Are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> That is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> we are little bunnies and we... Madam Gazelle's house. Pepper and her family are visiting Madam Gazelle. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa! Whoa! Your hallway is a big slide, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Aho! Uh -oh. Everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? <laughs> ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear. My poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Mr Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here. Fuzzy bees. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this. <gasps> it's an owl. Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. You've 
You've got bats, Madame Gazelle! Ah, oh, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, oh, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well, eventually it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are! It's a tree house! <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. <laughs> Come to? It's work, Peppa, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the tree man's on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. We, Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. <laughs> It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. <laughs> Pepper 
Barbara and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. <laughs> George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. George, come on! What's the matter, George? Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this, with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George! Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good! <laughs> now push off with the other foot, like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Pepper, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought us scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. 
That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Pepper is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Yeah, you'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the waves. Ready? Steady. Now, Peppa. Woo! Kylie is being carried along by a wave. Woo! <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant. Whee! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. That's proper surfing. Woohoo! These waves are awesome. Wow. wow! Kylie, where's your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> 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 Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. Wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> I loved surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. 
Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be... Hooray! <laughs> Peppa is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Today is Captain Dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Captain Dog! <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! <laughs> Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Duck is going faster than our boat. Want a race, do you, Mrs. Duck? <laughs> Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Oh. Anyway, you want to slow down. We're coming to a mountain. Ah! Look out! There's a mountain! in front. We're going to crash straight into it. No, we're going into the tunnel. There is a tunnel through the mountain. It's all gone dark. And our voices sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> we sailed straight through the middle of a mountain. <laughs> this canal boat is actually quite fun. <laughs> Look, here comes another mountain. And that means another tunnel. Not this time. Oh, there's no tunnel. So what do we do? We're going uphill. There's no way in the world a boat can go uphill. There is, and it's called a lock. Watch, I'll show you. Mummy Dog is opening the gates to the lock. Take her in, Captain. Just wait there while I close these lock gates. <laughs> now I'm letting in the water from the top. We're going up. The rising water is lifting the canal boat up. Now I open these gates. Take her out, Captain. Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Where's the ground car? We're in the sky. We're sailing over a bridge. Yes. This bridge means we can sail high above the valley below. Ha <laughs> ha! Sailing across the sky. What could be a better adventure? <laughs> <laughs> sailing across the sky in a boat so high, floating on the water, sailing across the sky. <laughs> Have you had a fun time, Daddy? I should say so. I've sailed through mountains, over hills, and across the sky. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. Captain Dog loves canal boats. Everyone loves canal boats. Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Pepper and George. <laughs> Ooh, 
George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings. You must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First, we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm. <laughs> Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs>